Welcome to The Other Half, your favorite Battle of Sexes talk show. I'm Brittany Jelinski. And I'm Rob Carrera. We have a very interesting topic today. Yes, we're talking about pet peeves. As we all know, pet peeves are little things that can get under people's skin and just drive them crazy. Everyone has them. And some are common, but some are really weird. For example, Brittany hates when people wear Crocs. That I do. And Rob hates girls who say, oh my god, like all the time. Okay, Brittany, can we get something straight? I hate when girls say, oh my god, I'm so drunk. First of all, you're not drunk. And secondly, when girls are like, oh my god, help me pick out something. If I don't know your first name, I'm not comfortable picking out your clothing. That's just a must. Wow, Rob. Tell us how you really feel. I'm sorry, I just really got carried away. All right, well, let's look at people's top pet peeves about the opposite sex. Women hate men who burp in public, leave wet towels on the floor, scratch themselves inappropriately, and put their feet on the table. And guess what? Guys hate when girls interrupt them, have a habit of nagging them, criticize them in public, or use nicknames in public and think it's cute. But we wanted to see what made Mary's college tick. So we had Christina Popwich go out on campus and ask students what their biggest pet peeves were about the opposite sex. Let's see what people had to say. About the opposite sex. Um, do I have like a time limit on this right now? I just hate people that are nags. Like, like that's just the most annoying thing. All right, say it once, mention it. Just don't be a nag. Like nagging is just the it's the worst thing in the world. P period. <laughs> I think uh, women tend to overanalyze things where men are very simple. So. Uh, if, if I said I wanted to do something, I don't like, if I want to go out for lunch or something, I don't want women overanalyzing and thinking like I have like feelings or something, because sometimes like... You're just hungry. Hungry, <laughs> like friends. That they always wear sweatpants. Um, their indecision. That when we go out, guys can wear nice sneakers and girls have to wear high heels. Biggest pet peeve, um, complaining about things that don't matter. I really, I don't like when guys don't wash their hands. That really grosses me out. And they chew their gum loudly. Probably their bad attitude. Like uh, clinginess, it's like huge turn off. When they leave the toilet seat up. That they're messy. Girls are really loud sometimes. Like, they're, can I, they're really loud when they're drunk. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. that like, that's really frustrating sometimes. <laughs> they get too comfortable telling you things. That's probably, that'd probably be my biggest pet peeve. Um, when they text you and they say K or OK and that's it. It'd probably be that girls text you back like every second. Like you'll respond and then there's no pause. They'll literally respond right back to you. And it's annoying because you have to like, you don't want to like ignore them, but you don't want to text right away because you're doing other things. Well, I hate when they're sexist, pretty much. Yeah, I hate when they make uh, stereotypical comments about girls. Like, they can never find anything. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> um, my husband, it can be right in front of him, but if he has to move something to find it, he cannot move that one thing to locate it. <laughs> that's my biggest pet peeve. Oh. Yeah, you do. Come on. Not giving me what I want. <laughs> I just got to say, the guy at the end of that video makes it. No, he is hilarious. <laughs> that line, I'm going to remember that line forever. You'll probably uh, pick up some people with it. Don't give me what I want. <laughs> it's so funny. No, I but... Yeah, well, sorry, what were you going to say? Please, ladies first. Okay. Um, I was going to say, I just think that it's funny to see how almost every guy has some sort of um, version of, I hate when girls are clingy or when girls, like, talk too much. Because they do and are. <laughs> it's so funny that all the girl ones are like, I hate when guys are disgusting. <laughs> That's because men are not affectionate like us, all right? Okay, well, Rob. Like me, the Europeans. You are super affectionate. Exactly, because I'm well trained. My mama didn't raise no fool. She knows. <laughs> Brought me to the old school. All right. Oh my god. And let me just say, when girls text you back right away, I have to agree with that guy. The most annoying thing, because then you don't want to text her back right away and seem like you're not a bro, you're not cool. It's just an awkward situation. Girls, just count to 15 Mississippi. Think about it. Go do your makeup or something. I don't know whatever girls do in their spare time, and then text me back. Don't text me back on your bed just all the time. Okay, but um, Rob, I would like to argue that if a girl doesn't text a guy back right away, he freaks out and sends her like three more of the same text messages. That's our job. And he will throw in smiley faces or frowny faces. That's what guys text to you. Real men don't do that, all right? You gotta start seeing some real men. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, 
I always like to hear things that make girls tick. Anyway, what about you, Brittany? Anything that gets on your nerves? Oh, geez. All right. Yeah, there's a few things that get on my nerves. Um, all right. I'm just going to throw some tips out there for guys. Not saying this is directed at anyone, but it kind of is. <laughs> so, first of all, I hate when guys already have a girlfriend and they decide to make a move on another girl. That's not cool. If I find out that you have a girlfriend and you're trying to talk to me, I am going to tell all of my friends. All of them. And I'm probably going to tell every girl I see from every, then on out throughout the day. Um, I also hate when guys like think that girls want a relationship all the time. Like, I'll be in the middle of a conversation and guys will be like, I just want to let you know I don't want a girlfriend. And I'm like, I just want to let you know. What about me makes you think <laughs> that I want you to be my boyfriend? I really don't care what position you are on the football team. I do not want to date you. Doesn't matter what position. Not at all. Running back, coach. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't care. I don't care either. Status is nothing. Yeah. I also hate um, when guys constantly ask girls, are you mad at me? The more you ask me, are you mad at me, the <laughs> mad I'm getting. <laughs> From experience, I know that's true. Yes. I stop asking altogether. You do. I just don't care. But um, what about you, Rob? What makes you like angry about girls? Especially about girls. The girls that think they're hot and chit chat in the hallway and walk at a glacial pace. Oh. I, we do not like those glacial I, pacers. Yeah, no one even, not even girls like those girls that are glacial pacers. Those girls are like, oh my gosh, I'm so hot, look at my makeup, haha. Ha. I got a class to get to, honey, okay, I paid my money to be here. This is it, this is what I'm paying for. What I also hate is girls that when I text them, text me back and say, oh, guess what, I'll be there in a few. I didn't invite you over. Who? I, I want to eat lunch. I, I made a quesadilla. There's soccer on. You got to ask ahead of time, okay? I got a life, baby. Wow, I, did it, I did not know you were so important. I mean, it's whatever. But honestly, pet peeves are not always a laughing matter. This is true. Studies have shown that pet peeves can often lead to the end of a relationship. But why is that? Why is something so minimal be so important in a relationship? Often at times, people have these flaws from the beginning of the, from the relationship, but we actually don't see them because we're too focused on things we like about the person. Then we start to notice the flaws that this person begins to seem less desirable. Maybe it's better that we just pick out those flaws from the beginning so, you know, we know them ahead of time. Um, not exactly, but you should keep in mind that no one is perfect and you have to decide when you meet someone to either accept them for who they are, flaws included, or to move on and try to, some, try to find someone who doesn't drive you completely crazy. But I, I think it's good if, you know, some things annoy you. You know, why is that, Rob? Keeps things interesting. You know, um, do you want to explain that a little bit more? I don't know, I feel like if you just get used to the same person over and over again, their, what they do, day-to-day -day activities, you need something a little annoying to let them know that, you know, things are still fresh in the relationship, or else you're just going to look for greener pastures. You know, Rob, I think you're going somewhere with this. Finally. Because <laughs> this does bring up something else. You know, what do you do if you can't deal with your significant other's bad habit? Extremely easy. You give them an ultimatum. What? What? Yeah, you tell them, look. Either you're with me, or you're not with me at all, right? So pick sides, i.e. I have chest hair, so that should be end of story. Uh, okay, but um, how would you feel if someone told you that you had to change? You know, sometimes you have to. Okay, if I take a girl out and she's constantly texting someone else, and you know what, I'm not gonna feel like I'm being valued. And I'm gonna tell her she has to choose, but I'm not gonna wanna talk to her while she's talking to other people. While that is really rude, I do see where you are coming from, but telling someone to change who they are is not always the best approach. But Rob, you were going somewhere with that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so you should be open <laughs> and willing to communicate with your significant other. If you, are w if you are with someone who texts all of the time and it bothers you, let them know how you feel. Nothing is healthier in a relationship than when you can be open and honest with the other person. Yeah, so tell them how you feel. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Don't make the other person feel like they're attacking. Don't make the other pe person feel like you're attacking them. But you just want to let them know if something is bothering you. I think it's important to remember that you also have certain quirks that get on other people's nerves as well. You know, that's exactly right. Because most of the time, we do things that annoy other people and we don't even realize it. Yeah, so don't go crazy to point out where everyone's wrong about everyone else. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like Rob, for instance, you know, you like mess up song lyrics all the time and it bothers a lot of people and you touch people inappropriately. 
But I feel Often. like that's what I bring to a friend group. I keep people on edge because they never know when someone's going to touch them on the small of their back or lower. You know, you got to keep people on edge. Let them know that they're not always comfortable. All right, that's life. That's life coming at you. Oh, oh and by the way, Britt, there's something wrong with me. First of all, you walk around always with a bitch face, so no, no one can ever approach you, okay? And you're just too good looking for everyone, and Jesus or what's it? I don't know. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, unbelievable. Okay, well that's all we have time for for today. So um, thanks for watching The Other Half. I'm Brittany Jelinski. And I'm Rob Carrera. You stay classy, Poughkeepsie. No, Rob, that's, that's not your sign off. It is now. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, tune in next week when we talk about text translation. <laughs> no, actually, some people don't know my real name. Beer runs down in front of my back. Do you want to come to Darby's with us? No, honestly, it's beautiful weather today. I saw people frisbeeing. You know, what, what's that other thing they do with the sack across? These young, these young, yeah, you young kids. Low five. Low five. <laughs> Low five. <laughs>